Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Some Magic Inspirations and I'm here with the Divine Feminine Feelings and this is for those of you in separation, no contact, who recognise as a twin flame soulmate connection. I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support, I really appreciate that. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe, like, share, comment. I'm doing an offer on personal readings right now, so one question for £15. I have a Patreon which you can join for just £3 where you get access to 18 plus um, exclusive content over there. I have a deck shop where a lot of the decks I use are my design. You can find them in my shop and all the links are down below. So I pre-shuffled the oracles and we're going to clarify with the tarot. Okay, so we're looking at Divine Feminine Feelings. So this is one of my decks, Love Magic Oracle 1 and 2. So, I feel the feminine is missing the flirty, dirty, sexy talk you shared. Maybe you were really flirtatious with each other. Um, craving and desiring to be with the masculine again. And maybe doing love rituals of some sort. Maybe working with um, spell work or working with the moon energy to manifest. And you still have love. You know, you're still feeling love for this person. But I feel that you're also in the energy of self-love. I feel you've done work on that i don't think you were in that energy and you cannot get this this person off your mind they're, they're on your mind and you've been healing your heart okay because this was a breakup and you've been doing that healing now, this is mutual we, that came out on the masculine and you do feel this soul connection with this person you do feel it's a special connection and sometimes you feel a bit obsessed about this person you can't get them off your mind um you know, maybe it's not that you even want to think of them, but they're in your mind. And you hunger for this person. You know, you have there's a lot of desire here, a lot of passion. And you want to res resurrect this. You want love out the ashes. You want to give this another chance. You're open to that. You want to take a leap of faith here with your masculine. And you want to hold each other close. You know, you want to hold them, let, never let them go and be in each other's lives be a constant and have a new beginning with the magic carpet rides start again start fresh maybe travel the world together see the world and have that true intimacy the emotional physical mental and spiritual and enjoy sensual love with each other sensual love making and maybe practice sacred sexuality you just want it to be you and them and you feel this love is eternal. You feel that you've known them before and maybe will again. And you want a commitment. We got just married there. So you want a commitment. I mean, not everybody believes in marriage, but you definitely want a commitment. And if it, if it can't be with this person, you do want a commitment in your life. That is what you want because you're in that um, energy of self-love. You know, you're respecting what your needs are, what your wants are. So let's clarify with the tarot, and I'm using the dark fairy tale tarot. So we've got this flirty, dirty, sexy talk. So who is the masculine for you that you were doing this with? Who is your masculine? Yeah, we've got six of wands. So this person was very, um, very turned on by you. It was mutual. I feel you're very desirous of each other. There was a lot of passion between you. What else can you tell us about this person? What else can you tell us about this person? Yeah, we've got temperance energy. So you felt that, you know, you did feel the balance between masculine and feminine, but it with each other, you know, that strong polarity, but... In other essences, it may have been out of balance. What else can you tell us about this masculine? Yeah, we've got Page of Cups. And I mean, this image is unusual because she's actually crying. So I feel that it was you that maybe offered love and this person didn't accept your love. Okay. And you really want another chance with this person. Yeah, we've got the death card. So you want to transform this. Um, you want to come out of separation. And that is mutual because the masculine was feeling that. 
and you've been trying to manifest this well we've got the empress so you're in that empress energy you're in the state of receptivity you're abundant you're loving you're nurturing so this is a good energy to attract your person and you're in love with yourself you're in that energy of self-love and you want a new beginning in love you want you know you want a love connection and we've got the six of swords you want to move away from maybe past patterns of behavior past negative thoughts and feelings but this person is constantly on your mind you can't get them out of your head what can you tell us about that we've got the wheel of fortune so yeah things are going to start moving things are going to change things are progressing so in some way you're going to be coming out of this stuck energy and you've been healing your heart you've been doing that work on your heart and we've got the emperor energy here so you're both here so you did see this person as your match your divine masculine and you're healing you know i feel again this is mutual and you feel this soul connection between you you definitely feel this soul connection and with the nine of wands you haven't given up you know on this connection i feel you haven't given up despite what's going on and sometimes you maybe you feel a bit obsessed but we have got justice coming in so justice is going to be served in some way this could be divine justice and you really desire your person with that hunger for you what is that about high slight and love yeah we've got eight of wands so there could be some communication coming in and that can be fast moving energy. So this could be communication. So this could be either you reaching out or they're going to reach out. And you want to, rec you know, what's the word? Rebirth this connection. So what can you tell us about that? So we've got nine of cups so again you're in that energy of loving yourself giving that love to yourself in a good energy you're in that empress energy and you want that other cup you you want that ten of cups and you want to take a risk you, you're willing to take a risk and we've got hermit reverse so you're coming out of hermit mode you could have been in hermit mode for some time doing that inner work doing that healing and you're coming out of that you're willing to take a risk now and you want to have that closeness with this person you want to you know work on this connection wow we've got ace of cups so there is an opportunity here for a brand new beginning you know you're wanting that brand new beginning you want to have a whole new world with this person and share your life with this person what can you tell us about that wow we've got the star energy so after a period of healing you're both healing um the wish wish is fulfilled and i feel you've been both working on your manifestation you know this you know you do that work on yourself that healing releasing and you allow room for the new and even if it's somebody returning you know a brand new star a wish fulfillment because you want that true intimacy you want that emotional connection you want that um mental emotional physical spiritual connection and we've got king of coins so your person could be a uh herb sign taurus virgo capricorn but doesn't have to be it can be in that energy of somebody that is stable financially is secure could even be abundant that has something to offer that's grounded that's mature energy that is ready for this ready for this and you want that central love you want this central connection with your person yeah we've got the moon energy so we've got a new moon coming up this week so that could be very significant and really tapping into your feminine really tapping into that that feminine aspect and wanting that sacred sexuality that sacred um union with your person what 
can you tell us about that? Well, we've got two of cups. So, yeah, you want that mutual loving with your person. You want that eternal love. Yeah, we've got Queen of Cups. So you're, you know, in that energy of somebody loving, nurturing, compassionate, you know, in that energy of self-love, you know, willing to, you know, love your person, to forgive your person, to be compassionate. And you want this commitment. You know, you want a commitment with this person. You don't want less. Wow. Wow. And then we've got the Ten of Cups. Oh, my God. I love the way spirit works. Wow. So you want that relationship you want that union you know whether it's a marriage or just a long-term commitment that is what you're wanting for yourself and you deserve that because you are worthy of that so let's look at your other feelings so yeah you're wanting that romantic love i mean who doesn't you want romance in your life you want to be treated special you want to do this for your person and you want that for yourself to be romantic and come into balance with each other, you know, balance within yourselves and balance each other out and be the yin and yang. And you've had a heart chakra awakening and maybe after the breakup you were closed off. OK, you protected your heart, but your heart is opening again. You're opening up to give and receive love. Yeah, you've been going through a transformation and this came out for the masculine. You've both been doing that inner work. And you want that sensuality, you want the magical sensuality of your person, you want to express yourselves in that way and show each other how you feel. Yeah, commitment. You want a commitment, you know, you deserve that. You know, you want something that's not going to be flaky or casual or that in and out energy that maybe you had before. And yeah, you were rejected. A lot of the feminines, it was you that was rejected. It could be the other way around, so take what resonates. But you felt rejection, your heart was broken um and it takes courage to open up your heart again and you found that courage or you're finding that courage to open up to love again and yes there's been sad times very sad times you know heartbreak sadness loss and yeah there could have been self-sabotage behaviors from the feminine we had that come out in the masculine so both of you could have had a fear of love a fear of truly committing or opening up to each other um, but what it did do, this connection, it triggered your creativity. I feel it really unleashed that or it's going to that creative aspect of yourself. And again, it's a very healing energy to be in. And again, we've got number 11. So take off your mask. I feel that you were both maybe not being truly authentic because of that fear of rejection. And then obviously that is what happened. And you see this person as part of your soul family, your soul tribe. And you want to have a family with this person. That's how you feel. You want to commit. You want to have a family. And you recognize that you are getting help from your angels, your guides. There is definitely divine guidance guiding this connection. And you feel that. And you see signs and symbols all the time. You're connected to that. So what do you want to say? So this is my late night thoughts and desires deck. So you are smoking hot. They think you're smoking hot. They want to take care of you, my love. They want to be the one that takes care of you, that gives you that loving connection. And they see you as somebody very sexy. You turn them on. And sometimes they just feel they want to rush over to you, but they stop themselves because they don't want to be chasing you. And I want to text, but not sure if you're a response. So again, feeling tempted to text. And love, would love to go on a holiday. That came out in the masculine. So have a romantic, sexy time together. And I feel jealous thinking of you with someone else. So again, you're not, neither of you are sure if the other has moved on. And I want you in my bed, you know, wanting those intimate moments. And our dreams of you and me doing sexy things to each other. So really desiring each other right now. So now we're going to look at my sensual desires deck. So they want to go sexy dancing with the masculine. Or maybe that's something, you know, you've done before. And they want to know what the, you want them to do to them the, and vice versa. You want to share those sexy thoughts, maybe outdoor rendezvous, outdoor sexy adventures together. And trusting in the flow, just going with the flow, not trying to force anything, not trying to control anything. And the feminine wants the masculine to know she's going to love them forever, no matter what happens. And they want... the masculine to stay the night to be 
there in the morning, you know, to do sexy times. And the feminine wants to dress sexy, surprise a man with some sexy lingerie. But she wants commitment. She wants this commitment for herself and for both. And this is my Twin Flame Love Notes deck. So I've never felt like this, love like this before. It's magical. I'm under your spell. I desire you to hold you in my arms. I want to make love to you and only you always. I know, know this. If you're thinking of me, I'm thinking of you, my precious love. And your kiss is like fire in my soul. It will never go out. Desires build and I just want to have your mind, body and soul. So really, really passionate, loving energy there. So I'm going to leave it there. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe, like, share, comment and I will see you next time. Bye for now.